My professional name is Rebecca Sachs, and I am a mezzo-soprano. I am a modern singer because I have consciously chosen to find my own path in this career. Understanding both that others' success is always something to be celebrated, never a sign of my failure, and also that my journey cannot and will not look like anyone else's. I have so many jobs outside of singing right now. <laughs> I work part-time at an independent lower school in San Francisco, training teachers to work with educational technology. I also consult as a biostatistician for public health research groups. Um, my other degree is in biostatistics. The way that these jobs support me is obviously through income. Um, these help support my lessons and coachings, but also they give me experiences that allow me to have interesting things to say as an artist, which I think is really important. It's so important that musicians support one another, largely because nobody understands the absurdities of this career like other musicians. Seriously, nobody. If we don't support each other, there's no trust, and we cannot make good art without trust. There are a lot of things I want to see change in this industry. At the very core, though, I want to see more diversity of voices in positions of power. This is beyond hiring more singers of color, which absolutely needs to happen. I want to see more Black and Indigenous people, more women, more queer representation as executive directors, as presidents of boards, and as conductors, people who are in real positions to make change. I don't know a lot about advice, but I do have two mantras that I say to myself all the time. Neither of these are original. I don't take credit. But the first is... Be a person who sings, not a singer who persons. And I think that is so important. You have to have something outside of singing that makes you excited to be alive. And also that comparison is the thief of joy, which is so true. You can't compare yourself to others or you'll just be miserable all the time. I love creating my own opportunities. My best friend and I started a small company. It's called Ping and Wolf Opera in Portland, Oregon. Mostly as a way just to sing together, but it sort of spun out of control from there. <laughs> Most of the challenges are, of course, financial. Um, spaces cost money, as do pianists and costumes. But I learned a lot about how to ask for help through that process and how willing, even eager, people are to support projects that they can relate to and that they see your passion about. What I think, or at least what I hope really makes me stand out, is my commitment to authenticity and to collaboration. I spent a really long time in my career trying to hide who I really was, especially my intellect, because I got feedback that I was intimidating. Um, but what I found is that finding the people who value who I really am, value the real me, nerdiness, intelligence, at all has allowed me to feel much more fulfilled as an artist and also just to produce better work as a musician.